Slow lights and the Innovation Launchpad have been a problem for a very long time, and they are still a problem. The oldest occurrence of slow lights I could find in a video is Neb's Tetris Hero. His lights go slow right as the drop starts. The original Launchpad has had no issues with this, and Innovation released a remade Launchpad to help combat this issue, the Launchpad S. The Launchpad S brought better support for faster lights, as I found in this video by Spinning. As you can see, the same light goes on much faster. Back at the time, fast and complex lights weren't really a thing until the MK2 and Pro came out. Kaskovi was one of the first to get his hands on one of these, and quickly showed us that lights can actually go very fast on the new launch pads. The best example of this one is the rainbow going outwards effect, like in his Mako Beam Comer here. People started noticing the slow lights issue when playing these projects on the Launchpad S. While in theory they should produce the exact same light effect but with different colors obviously, the speed of the lights is very noticeably slower on the Launchpad S. Here's my recording of the exact same light on my Launchpad S. So why does this happen? Did Domation just simply not make the Launchpad S fast enough when they were fixing up the mistake in the original? Unfortunately, this is not true. Novation have made the S work perfect with fast lights under the right circumstances. I've suffered from this issue myself and always thought it is just meant to be like that. Until I stumbled upon this video by Big Mango Gaming on YouTube, which showed me that the Launchpad S can in fact display all the fast lights, even though it cannot display all of the MK2 and Pro's colors. I immediately questioned how this user got fast lights like this onto his video. I posted a question in the Facebook group. People replied with, I wish I knew, same problem, and some others suggested a faster CPU. Now, I know you're going to say that this is a project for the Launchpad Pro and it isn't expected to work on the S, right? Well, no, you can see the exact same issue happened in Ultimod's Make It Bundem cover, which is made for the Launchpad S. As you can see in Ultimat's video, you can see the lights are all working fine as intended, but running it on my machine like this causes the lights to become slow. So it's not an issue with the project file being made for the Launchpad Pro. This is an issue which has been around since the Launchpad S came out, but it hasn't really been noticed up until now. I've done some research and noticed that both Kaskobi and Ultimod use a Mac for their Launchpads instead of a regular PC. So I asked myself, is there a difference with using a Mac against using a Windows machine? Fairly quickly, I was able to set up a Hackintosh, as I don't own a real Mac. A Hackintosh is an install of Mac OS X on non-Apple hardware. Mac OS X wasn't intended to run on anything other than Apple hardware, so it can be a bit tricky to set up, but I managed to get it working. I loaded up Ableton and tried playing the lights, and this is what I got. Surprisingly, the speed of the lights were as they were intended to run. This led to the conclusion that Windows was in fact producing these slow lights while using a Mac gets the lights working normally, but this also sparked the question, is this actually an issue with the operating system or is the error in the Windows version of Ableton Live? To test this, I decided to look for other ways to utilize the lights on the launchpad and see how the lights would behave like this. The best thing I was able to do was create a Python script which made an effect play across the launchpad fairly quickly with the help of RJ Munro's PyLaunchpad library. Python is cross-platform, so the exact same code will run under both Windows and Mac OS X with no modifications. You can download the source code of what I used to test for the issue and see how your launchpad behaves using it. It only works for the original and S versions, though. What the code does is flicker the entire launchpad from red to green and back as fast as possible. Here's what I got running under Mac OS. You can see that the lights go so fast the camera can't even pick up the red and green independently, but instead mixes it to a light yellow. Here's the same light under Windows. Again, we notice that the lights go very slow on Windows, with the lights slowly filling the entire launchpad one row at a time. I've slowed it down a bit here so you can see it better. As a bonus, I also decided to try out the script under Linux, specifically Ubuntu, even though there is no official Ableton distribution for Linux systems. It goes faster than a Windows system, but still definitely slower than a Mac. This would suggest the problem lies inside of the operating system itself, rather than in Ableton or Launchpad's firmware. I want to add that MK2 users have also noticed the slow lights issue similar to the S issue on their launchpads as well, but this was fairly quickly fixed by Innovation with a firmware update for the MK2. The MK2 does not suffer of the same issue running under Windows and it shouldn't be confused with the launchpad S issue. The launchpad S doesn't have any firmware updates available for fixing this matter, but I also think that it's not an issue with the firmware simply because the issue doesn't happen on the same firmware and PC hardware running Mac OS X and Linux instead of Windows. So in conclusion, slow lights on the launchpad S happen if you're running under Windows. Running on a real Mac or Hackintosh seems to fix the problem. The cause of the issue is probably in the way Windows handles MIDI in the core of the operating system, and there is no known fix for it yet.